2023 has been such a good year for anime and I think Frieden is definitely one of my favorite animes from this season. It's it's tied with Oshinoko because I forget Oshinoko came out in 2023. To me it feels like it's already been a year since Oshinoko but it hasn't so I guess time is kind of flowing slowly. That might just be because of the major change that's happened in my life since Oshinoko. Like I decided for those that don't know I decided to go back to school so maybe that's why it feels like hey that, that was such a long time ago even though it really wasn't. But I'm not here to talk about Oshinoko. I'm, I'm here to talk about another anime that I really do enjoy and I think it's definitely a competitor for best anime of the year and that is Frieden Beyond Journey's End. Now Frieden Beyond Journey's End has kind of hooked me in a way that I didn't think it would. I already made an entire video going into what this anime is about so I don't want to do that again for this video but I'll give you a quick rundown. So it follows our main character Freerin who's a part of this like RPG-esque party. She's like the mage of the party and because she's an elf she lives for a very long time so a lot of her party members die, she actually ends up forming a new party, she's learning the value of human life and how short and finite it is. So I already talked about all of this before in my last video on Freerin so I don't want to go over it again. Now on the last video I made on Freerin I had only seen one of the episodes. Now I'm currently caught up and all I could say is it's definitely lived up to the hype. It's not a story like Naruto or One Piece that has this overarching plot and that's the main goal of the show. It does have an overarching plot like there is a goal in the show, there is something we're trying to attain but that is not the main purpose of the show and that's not what it's trying to sell you on. In a, in a weird way, in a sense, it is somewhat like One Piece, right? One Piece is, the main goal of One Piece is to find the One Piece itself, but most of us don't watch One Piece for that reason. A lot of us watch One Piece because we actually genuinely enjoy the journey. And it's almost the same thing with Frieden, right? Frieden is an anime, there is an overarching plot and we do wanna see it. It's not as important as the One Piece to us, but we do wanna see what happens at the end. But the thing we're here for is the very journey of it itself. We wanna see Frieden's growth as a character, as a, as a mage, as a, you know, elf who lives for a very long time. We want her to understand the value of human life and you know how finite it is. Because in this entire anime, throughout the entire six episodes that I've seen so far, Frieden has taken time for granted, right? Her friends, they wanna get on with life, but she's just like, oh, we could chill here for two, three years. We could chill here for five years. But she doesn't understand that their life is so finite. Wasting 10 years in a certain spot, to her, it might be nothing, but to, you know, her friends, that's a lot. So as I mentioned in my last video, it's, it's a very unique anime. You don't have anime that talk about, you know, messages like this, the finitude of life. And I mentioned that in my last video. And to me, this has kind of been hitting a little bit more because I've been watching a, an old, like, a TV series by the name of Cosmos, A Personal Voyage. It's, it's, all, it's sort of a scientific documentary-esque show and it also kind of shows you the, the finitude of life. So in that sense, the message of the story is very unique, right? Like uh, a lot of times you won't get messages like this that focus on the very journey itself. A lot of times animes will focus on, you know, the overarching plot point, the overarching goal that we have to reach. We have an overarching goal in Frieden, but it doesn't seem like the main thing. Another thing I really do want to highlight is the very characters themselves. The characters are like probably my favorite part of this show. Frieden is a very interesting character seeing her her growth and having her learn how the importance of human life. Fern is also an interesting character seeing her grow and develop as a person and basically you know trying to learn so that she could show Haitar once again uh, how much she's actually grown. Stark is a new character we met but he's also somewhat interesting. He's growing on me. Uh, I, I definitely need to see more of him before I can make like a actual conclusion. We even have like our magical figure in this show who's Himel, right? Himel is the character that we always think back to. And what's crazy to us is like we don't really know Himmel. We knew Himmel for like one episode and it seems like he's very nostalgic to us even so I don't know how they're pulling that off because every time I see Himmel I'm like wow Himmel I miss you. I, bro, I don't even know you. As I mentioned in my last video the art style, the animation, I, I just want to say because the reason I'm making this video is because the last time I made this video on Fidelian I had only seen one episode so I was just going off that very first or like I think it was the first two episodes I had seen but now I've seen six so I think that's more to say about this show and also we're getting 28 episodes of this season so 28 episodes is a lot and if, we're, if it's all gonna be this quality this might be one of my favorite animes from this year you know it, it's definitely gonna be tough between this Oshinoko and there's gonna there's a couple others that I'm thinking of right now but yeah when I make my list at the end of the year I'll, I'll show you guys what my top 10 are but listen if you want more anime content and manga content anime recommendations like this one make sure you follow subscribe I always talk about anime manga anyways peace out everyone have a good day bye bye